hi guys and welcome back so it has been i think a week since i shot a video so it's been kind of a while um i've had a lot going on been spending time with family my husband's been off work we've had a lot of stuff going on with the house doing new things to the house so it's been an exciting week but i'm excited to be back because we have a lot of perfume to talk about so um the first perfume i'm going to talk about is going to be windflower so this one is kind of expensive it's at 405 or 75 ml which in my opinion it's on the higher end um so usually with that price point i want something that's very unique something that smells absolutely addictive absolutely amazing and you know i went to neiman's yesterday was going to go pick out or just kind of like smell around but maybe pick out one thing for myself um and i ended up going with a bond perfume which i will maybe talk about in this video um but the lady was like hey here's the creed display it's brand new i'm like i have smelled it before i wasn't a huge fan of it um to me it almost smells like laundry that has been left in a laundry machine you know that like scent where it kind of smells kind of mildewy um and i'm not quite sure what that note is that's in there and this is all just my personal opinions obviously like i know some of you are gonna love this perfume others are gonna think eh and she was like you know what just take the sample wear it and see how you like it and honestly i feel like i've come to like it a lot more since i've been wearing it but at the same time i just can't really quite get past that smell so it says that it has um Sweet Jasmine with Tus Tunisian Orange Blossom um, with Fresh Fruity Peach and the Heart of a Delicate Jasmine Flower. Tuberose Petals, which I think is maybe um, kind of like, it almost smells like the tuberose with the jasmine in this has a weird kind of scent to it. Um, a more mature scent to it, but it's also not, um, I'm trying to think of like the words for it. The tuberose and the jasmine, they kind of are more of a sharp note. It's not like a sweet, um, luxurious, warm hug. It's more of like that it hits your nostrils and it's like, whoa. Like it's kind of like that intense note. So it goes on to say it does have some rose. We have some sandalwood in here um, with a little bit of iris and musk. And it does have some creamy praline, um, praline, praline, however you want to pronounce that at the end of it um i have had it on for a while now and i do think it is beautiful i do think there's parts of this perfume that are absolutely really kind of like fresh in a way i know i just said it smells like laundry that's been sitting but as it dries down it's more of this kind of like pretty elegant perfume like this would be kind of like in a almost an aldehydic range like it almost kind of reminds me of like a chanel perfume like i could see this being more of like a chanel perfume it's definitely more leans more towards that um classy vibe it's going to lean more towards that you know a little bit more mature a little bit more elegant vibe it's still kind of playful though however it has this really pretty floral note that just kind of is like hmm like what is that like it's just one of those pretty like it does smell like a perfume when it dries down so we're gonna go ahead and spray it i'm gonna give you like my first impressions on the spray because i have it already dried down on and i don't hate it this isn't something that i want to wash off right away i actually like it more in the dry down and i think this is one that you have to wear before you truly judge it so that being said let's go ahead and let's spray this bad boy so i just have the sample of this it's a two ml sample and upon spraying it, you really, really do smell like a very tart, almost like a very tart kind of jasmine tuberose scent. You can smell a little bit of that iris in there. It's just more of a sharp, almost like a cleaning agent scent. That's kind of like what I'm picking up or like a nail salon. It kind of smells like a nail salon. Like it smells a little bit chemically. Um will i be buying this i won't especially at the price point i don't see myself buying this particular perfume it's just not really like my kind of taste but it is a interesting 
rather unique perfume to hit the market. So if you haven't smelled it, maybe go smell it, try it out, wear it around the mall or wherever you get your perfumes, wherever you find Creed, um, if you're lucky enough to have a Creed, or try it on scent split, but maybe do like a smaller one to test it out. This would be for someone who likes that Chanel vibe. They like that, like more of like the aldehydic scents. Um, they would definitely appreciate this. White floral, aldehydes, those kind of things praline um but it's not like a gourmand praline at all this is more of a a little bit of a warmth on that back end so it's kind of like that musk and that praline kind of play together to create a warmth in the dry down so all in all i mean i don't really want to rate this perfume because i feel like it's hard for me to give it a rating but if i were to rate it i would give it maybe like a three out of ten um but I'm curious to see what you guys think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you tried it? What's your thoughts? Um, and I'm going to show you guys the perfume that I did end up getting that I'm like head over heels in love with. And I'll be right back with that. So I did end up getting um, Bond New York's Madison Avenue, which was actually um, fashioned off of... A shopper so someone who likes to shop I think that's very fitting in this scenario um, but this one was very unique we went up to the bond counter and we were smelling everything and he was like do you like ouds and I was like yes I love ouds smelled the oud and I was like this is good but you know going into summer I wanted something elegant pretty refined something that was just kind of like a glow from within something that was unique but very feminine and I feel like ouds can kind of lean a little bit masculine sometimes especially when they're like kind of standalone and so I ended up going with this this is the box for it I like bond number nine um I like wall street which is a men's fragrance um it smells rich it smells elegant it smells powerful I do like I got some samples of the other ones Nolita and I got one of Astor Place these are both ones that I will be purchasing in the future. Nolita's a little bit more juicy, fresh, really pretty. Astor Place just smells like sensual perfume to me. It's just very hard to describe. It's like, as soon as I smelled Astor Place, I was like, this is heaven. This smells so good. Astor Place is just absolutely phenomenal um, for someone who likes just a very beautiful, kind of a more neutral, beautiful fragrance. Um, a good summer fragrance as well. So I'm like obviously in the summer mood. I like have been geared up for summer for a while now with like Rolla Stilta Folia and with some of my other picks that I've been getting as of recently. Maybe you guys have noticed that my my scent palette for summer has shifted um, into full swing. And I'm grabbing those scents that are more, you know, summer feminine. That's really what I've been leaning to, playing with, wearing. Um, I have been wearing BDK's new um, Grease Journal x straight obsessed, like absolutely head over heels, obsessed with the x straight And I'm curious to see how the x straight would smell with, hmm. <laughs> I'm curious to see how the x straight would smell layered with Bond Number no. Nine's Madison Avenue. Um, I feel like they would be very beautiful together. On Instagram, I described this bad boy or bad girl, should we say? I described this bad girl as um, a rich beep, perfume. Um, it just smells completely like a woman on the Upper East Side of New York who is going shopping. You know, she just had a blowout. She just got her nails done. She just looks very polished. She's going shopping, but she's still like playful and you know, that energetic where you're just kind of like drawn to her. It's that like, je ne sais quoi. Like, it, what about her? Like, she's just, there's something about her that you can't quite put your finger on. Um, this smells like money to me. It smells so good. Um, the dry down is kind of like this pure patchouli, but it's not dirty necessarily. I wore this to bed, woke up in like a, like fluffy cloud <laughs> of patchouli. And it's just this really beautiful kind of fresh patchouli note. Um, you have to like rose and patchouli to like this scent. It is a very, 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 very much a rose patchouli scent. It smells like a rose that you picked right out of the earth with the dirt and everything. 
um that's how this smells and it just smells absolutely elegant absolutely like drawing you in um and when i was talking to the bond guy i was like you know there's definitely those scents that project which i feel is what traditional masculine scents are is that projecting scent um and then there's those scents where you draw closer and it's that a little mysterious and you're like what is that i want to i want to lean in a little bit closer that to me is that feminine energy scent and i think that that really is captured so pretty inside of the madison avenue it is just absolutely a stunning fragrance um i will be wearing this one probably on repeat um, this is very, very much my new favorite scent out of everything that I have. And I have quite a bit. I have some House of Siage that's coming in today. I have quite a bit of House of Siage, um, to review, review for you guys. There's a lot that I haven't shown you guys. Um, but this one, you just have to smell it. Like, I believe that Bond has on their website... I do believe that they do have a discovery set if you're curious and you're not quite sure and you don't want to blind buy but you really want to smell this try getting a discovery set this one i just i don't think i could live without this now that i do have it and it was funny because he was showing us all the scents all these bond scents and he was going through them and i'm like nope nope he's like I, i'm glad you know what you like um i did smell tribeca i liked tribeca but it just wasn't the season for Tribeca in my opinion um it wasn't really the season for Greenwich Village which I think smells great but I just I wasn't into it for summer for some reason and so I didn't know what I was looking for but once I smelled this one I was like love at first sniff and so I had to end up getting it it was just absolutely amazing they did have a set of three which had Tribeca Greenwich Village and um something else there was another one that was in there like lolita or something the one with the kisses on it i don't know which one that is like i don't know the name of it but they had a scent um box that was like 450 for all of those which was a phenomenal deal but i don't know why i just had to go with this one i just i i knew that i'd get more use out of this and that's really kind of where my heart's at when it comes to perfume like i'm not going to be buying stuff just to review it i'm not going to be buying stuff just because it's popular or you know it would make good content i'm buying it because i actually like wearing it and it's something that i truly am like wow i don't want to not have this in my collection you know as collectors as people who are online sharing about our passion and fragrance it's hard not to over collect and get things that are just like hype and trendy and popular and i think that you know with my approach where i'm going with things that i actually wear and you know giving away things that maybe i i bought in the past that were trendy but it weren't really my style um i feel more confident and more happy with my perfume collection and that's really at the end of the day what matters most so I'm really, really happy with the perfumes that I have curated in my collection. I feel like excited every morning to pick out a new perfume and wear it and have that experience throughout the day with the perfume. And this one is a 100 ml bottle. So it's a pretty big bottle. Um, so same size as like the Grease Journal. So these are actually the same exact size. So anyways, that is the Bond number no. 9. Absolutely fantastic, rich af perfume and you got to love it it just smells absolutely incredible so i'm curious if you've made it to the end of this video what is your favorite creed fragrance and what is your favorite bond number no. nine fragrance um curious to see what you guys have to say and i will see you in the next video